we're playing a bye. Hello, Christ. Uh, I'm about to sin again. What's up, Much Music? We heard it's 50 years of hip hop, and we decided to use this time to talk about one of our favorite hip hop icons. Missy. Misdemeanor. Oh. Melissa Missy. Elliott. Missy, Missy Elliott. Elliott. She represents for the avant-garde hip-hop. Mm -hmm. People Dope. who take performance and art to the next level in the hip-hop space. Super duper fly. She's a super duper trailblazer. Period. So we want to just give the love to Missy. I yeah, don't know. period. Okay, bye. What's good, Much Music? This is Mike Flip, and in celebration of Hip Hop 50th birthday, I'd like to share a little story on how hip-hop impacted my life. First introduction I had to hip hop was when I was a b-boy, so I, I learned how to move my body to the rhythm of hip hop drum beats. This is how we gotta beat, none of these. Yet this is the rhythm of beats. Him on my street, couple so my homie brought a mate to blaze. I started diving into meditation, the power of the mind, and then I woke up one morning and started making hip hop music out of the blue. I had never written a verse before. And then I realized that those things that I've learned through meditation, I could canalize in hip hop music. And it then gave me a platform to be able to elevate people's consciousness. So I went from working delivery jobs to waking up in the morning and making music full time because of hip hop. He loved me when I made 10 bucks hip hop literally changed my life. So thank you, hip hop. Peace out. Oh man, it's your boy D4 M Slum. Clear hip hop memory was when that video of Biggie and Pac got recorded when they was freestyling at the table. You couldn't tell me that wasn't raw. You hear me? That was like one of the most raw videos ever. That's one of my favorite memories. Another one of my favorite memories is when Lil Wayne dropped the Lollipop video. I had to be like nine years old when that video was That video was dead to me. At my age, that video was all that, you hear me? <laughs> one reason I got in the game is my homie, my homie Tamir. That's one of the reasons I got in the game. One artist I think inspired me, I can't, I, I never could remember who was on the radio that day, but I believe it was Roxanne. I thought it was like a, a, a a boy my age on the radio saying something about her. Super female that's like Annie, my first rap, and from there on out, it was history. What's up, Much Music? It's your girl, Breezy Lynn, and I want to talk about one of my favorite hip-hop moments. Back then when I was little, you guys know, or if you don't know, I grew up in the same neighborhood as Jay-Z. One Christmas, they came and did a toy drive. It was Jay-Z, his mom, Beyonce. I got to take a picture with Beyonce. And yesterday, I just went to the exhibit. Um, it was called the Book of Hope. They had Marcy signs. You know, they was just paying homage to Marcy and giving Hope his flowers for all he's accomplished. And it just brought me back to, like, seeing his evolving, like how he evolved. And it was just, it was a great experience. I actually teared up a little bit because, you know, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was great. What's up, much music? It's little easy here. In celebration of the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, I just wanted to say I love to see how far the genre of hip-hop has become. It's, got, it's gotten so much bigger. The artists are getting so much more notoriety. So many different sounds now, so many different just flavors of the genre, and I just love to see how much the genre has grown over time. Even when I was first coming up, uh, just seeing how big my class has gotten since then is crazy. And just to see how much love hip hop is getting now is crazy in itself. So in celebration of the 50th anniversary of hip hop, I want to say I love the music, love the artists, love the way, love the genre, and let's keep making hits, man. I cannot believe it is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. There are so many hip hop artists who have fueled my artistic identity. We can keep dancing with our eyes closed. If I had to pick one, well, I need to pick two. I remember in the early 2000s, like 2002, when Without Me and Lose Yourself came out, Eminem wrecked me. I just had never heard somebody come out with that kind of cadence. And I was obsessed with his music. And then in 2003, Jay-Z dropped the Black album, and it was just like there was no turning back. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Hip hop, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for you. Hey, what's up? It's Portia. You tuning in to Much Music 50 Years of Hip Hop. First thing I want to do is thank Much Music for having me a part of your platform and always continue to show love. My favorite hip hop memory got to be 50 Cent. Go, go, go. I kind of just go. came in to show you how to level up from nothing and just continue to strive. Thank you, Hip Hop. Thank you, Much Music. Let's get it. Yo, Much Music, what's up? It's your man, Solitaire, the one and one, the one and only, nothing you expect, everything you don't. We are celebrating the 50th 
anniversary of hip hop music and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite memories coming up as a hip hop artist from Toronto. If you know anything about my career, you know I've released classic songs like Easy to Slip. And of course, I produced Bacardi Slang for Cardinal Lopez. Everybody knows this the T. Rocking shows from Toronto to Paris to Beijing to Mumbai to UK, like all around the world. But one of my favorite memories that stands out amongst all of those performances was when Jay Z came to Toronto for his Rock La Familia concert. He came and, you know, Rihanna performed and then he took the stage and he's like, yo, what up, T Dot? He's like, yo, what, you know, how y'all represent? What, what's the city about? And I think it was one of his first times here. Anyway, DJ Cypher Sounds got on the set, started splitting some tunes, and then he announced us, and Cardinal and I touched the stage, and the city erupted. One of my favorite, favorite memories, and it really, really connected the dots in terms of realizing how the impact of our Canadian Toronto hip hop music could actually span the world and actually reach out and, and, and resonate with one of the hip hop, most hip hop iconic, legendary hip hop artists, Jay Z, in the mecca of hip hop, New York City. Major memory. Peace.